And it all belongs to Kid Dynamite! Hey guys, what's going on in this earth? And today I got a big back workout that I gotta uh, that I want to show you guys. So the first thing I'm gonna I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a seated row, right? And the reason why I'm actually doing this machine, there's so many. First of all, let me just say that there's a whole bunch of ways that you can do rows. But for me, when something is fixed like this, the motion is set all like basically all in one line. So the seated row versus a dumbbell works for me because one, the setup is already here. I don't gotta carry no dumbbells around. It's not awkward on my shoulders etc but for now i'm just gonna do a seated row and it helps me this is my my startup this is my start so so the one thing you really got to keep in mind and i do this all the time every muscle is different right some muscles that you have in your body you can do like two two three reps and then it's it's already there like you can already feel it the back muscle is a little bit different especially for me so what I do is I do a crap load of warm-ups to really engage that's just how my body is so if you have a body part that's like that don't jump into the set automatically take some time to really take some time to really find out how many reps it takes for that muscle group you got to get it warm up you got to get it you have to engage and then hit it so. hmm. So, two warm-ups, I'm going to do like probably about four sets. Um, the muscle I'm trying to target is my subscapularis, rhomboid, like the middle of my back. That's where I'm really trying to squeeze, squeeze as hard as I can in there, right? So, um, the way I position my hands, you'll notice that I'll place my hands underneath. But the thing is, if you, sh if you pull your hands directly down here, you'll feel it on your lats. If you pull it towards at the top, then you can hit your subscapularis more. It's all about the angle, so we're going to play with it, right? So for me, I'm going to pull a little bit to the top. That's what I'm going to do, right? Mm -hmm. Let's get So, when you're doing this workout, for me, I do three to four sets, just depending on how much I have, but usually four sets of standard and then anywhere from 10 to 15 reps for me. So as I go up in weight, my reps slowly start to drop. But the biggest thing is you gotta contract, you have to engage. It don't matter how many numbers you got, doesn't matter if you're doing six reps, 10 reps, or 15 reps, if you're not engaging, you ain't do something. Can I close? Yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> go ahead. you, you ain't do shit, you know what I'm saying? So, so remember, engagement, muscle connection is key more important than just your reps. Your reps is set, but remember, engaging is number uno. Oh, with COVID-19, you gotta be able to clean your equipment. So, what you wanna do is you wanna spray it first and then wipe it down. So what you wanna do is you wanna take and you just wanna... <laughs> Tell them to clean up itself. So we are gonna do a dumbbell row, but with two hands, all right? So we do a double. And the reason why I prefer this over the barbell is because one, barbell is super complicated. Like, it can hurt your wrist. I'm not saying not to do it, but what, here's what I'm saying. The reason why I'm doing these uh, dumbbell rows is because when I have, it increases my like mobility. I can go as wide as I can, as close as I want with, um, with an inside grip. And um, I can adjust versus a barbell. A barbell is kind of set and it also hurts my wrist. So if you have wrist pains or joint pains, they hit these dumbbells. Jay, you know what I ate? What'd you eat, bro? I ate donuts, bro. I was like, look, if I nutrient time, eat fast carbs before I get into the gym, I can get insulin into my system while I'm working out. You know what happened, bro? I fucking fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking took like a five minute nap. That was out. Too late. <laughs> Next time, don't eat like two donuts. It's probably maybe like a quarter. Put you in a coma. Uh, yeah, put me in a coma. I got hit with an itis. <laughs> By the way, if you have a weight that works, 
Am I drooling? <laughs> if you have a weight that works for you, you don't have to necessarily go up, if that makes sense. I know traditionally you wanna go up every single set, but if you find a weight for that set that feels super good and you just wanna hit it again, a tip is to cut your rest time just a little bit shorter since you're not going up in a weight and just keep the volume there to hit that muscle. Remember, connecting is more important. Always. So, just like the first one, it's going to be four sets, 10 to 15 for this one right here. So I did 50-50, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to maybe 60, and then 70 or 80 on my last one. But if I lose control, I will not hesitate to drop the weight. Alright guys, so, for me, I know exactly which part of my body, like on my back, needs improvement. So for me, one of the things that I really need to work on is the top of my, my trapezius, the rhomboid area at the top, up here. And also just my traps in general. I need to add more thickness to it, so I need to give it more attention. So with that being said, I will superset shrugs with the Smith machine and then also I'll do a lap pull down to incorporate the lats. That way it's going to be my third workout and then I'll do some hyper extensions to add stress on the lower lumbar. So that's pretty much my back workout but let me get this shit right here started. Tip, when you have a Smith machine that's angled like that, you don't want to stand straight up because what happens is when you pull, instead of being able to pull straight, you're pulling like that. All right? And you don't want to add this unnecessary angle. You want your pull to be straight. So what that means is you want to get underneath it. If this is me standing straight, I want to step up a little bit closer to the bar. The reason being is when I unlock, I'm standing in an angle. It looks like I'm leaning back, but I'm actually with the smith when I'm angling. So that's how you're going to pull it. Perfect. So, here's a tip. If you're doing a pull down and you could feel it on your joints, your elbows, your shoulders, your wrist, when you're pulling down, you're doing it wrong. And for God's sakes, you don't gotta pull it all the way down to your chest because then your shoulder will start to fucking pinch. So I'll put on weight, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta get those hips in. Alright, so we just got done two types of rows, right? Now um, for the shrugs and the, the pull downs, that's my third set. So we're gonna do again four sets of this one. 10 to 15 or 10 to 12, whichever one, but I have 10 to 15 reps and then keep it moving. So we're doing a lot of volume. I'm not advocating this brand because they don't pay me. Boy, if you don't. But one of the best ways to get nutrition into your body is obviously getting some supplements in. So BCAA is what I take before and after my workouts. Why? Because they're the fastest, they're the fastest amino chain to get into your system. I'm not going to talk about that, but I just want to let you know. I usually take them about 15 to 30 minutes before and then just before I end my workout. So don't do what I do because I don't have my shaker with me. So. That's what I do every time. I'm not addicted, I swear. So for the last set of the workout, you know you get a good workout when you can work your lumbar or your lower back on a separate category. Meaning, 
you did I did all those back workouts and I was able to target the specific muscle I was hitting and I didn't even touch my lumbar which is that's what you're supposed to do right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some extensions hyper extensions with a 10 pound and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna focus on that lower back that's it that's all I'm gonna do so I'm gonna show you All right. Yeah. Four sets, 12 to 15 reps. Focus on your lower back. Not just that, but here, lower back, and also the very top of your glutes because they all connect here. So, just keep that in mind. So, before you start, you want to lock your glutes in because you're about to get it. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm joking. So you want to lock your glutes in, have it always above your head and just keep it cool. Mm. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Thought I dropped it on him. Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you guys learned something. Um, that was pretty much my workout. I did uh, four exercises. The last two were supersets, or the, the third one was a superset, and the final one was just some extensions. So the last thing I'll leave you guys with is, remember, I can't foot stomp this enough. Make sure you are engaging with the muscle group that you are working out, because that's the most important thing that you can really do, and nutrition, and sleep, And if you wanna follow me on Instagram, hit me up. I'm a sweet potato. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Yeah, I'm a sweet potato for more tips on my journey and also working out nutrition. I want to give a big shout out to my dude, JD, JD Productions, right behind for this camera. He's the one that's doing all the edits and doing everything for me. So if it wasn't for him, pull the beer. Peace out. <laughs>